All right, uh, my name is Brian Moreland, also known as Bimo or Michael Bravo to some people who only know me through music. There's a lot of memories I have with Trey. Um, one of them being the whole football season pretty much, picking him up in the morning, uh, going through school together, him dressing exactly like me nearly every day. <laughs> um, having practice together and taking him home or taking him back to my house and we just chill, like play 2K, we always play 2K together. Um, he wouldn't admit it, but I'd always beat him. 21 scrap. Um, just being around him really is a memory. No matter who you are, there's not really one person that can dislike Trey. Like he's just a positive person. He's always happy, always smiling. Had the perfect teeth. I, don't, I was always jealous of his teeth. Had the perfect teeth. But so he was always smiling. Just bringing positivity and energy everywhere he went around anyone. Always brought out the best of people. My reaction at first was hearing about it is that it can't be real like I mean it, it just, I just didn't think it could be real I was with my brother Sonic and I just called from somebody and saying that something's wrong with Trey he's missing and I thought it was a joke really did um I went up to go pick up the girl who called me I came up here and we just saw a lot of police and it, it just kind of freaked me out and I was thinking like it, it's probably wrong person it can't be Trey it can't be Trey like out of everyone, not Trey. <laughs> there were too many funny things. I don't really, I don't really have one specific story about him. Um, I don't have a specific story. I know he like. It was always funny. People would call him uh, Timo. Not really the story because everyone called me Bimo. And people call him Timo because he would dress exactly. He would steal my visor. My white visor, a lot of people remember me because I always wore that. He would always steal it from me. I had to buy a gray one because I didn't know where it was and I found out he had it. Um, he was just playing tricks on me the whole time. Every time he came around me during school, he wouldn't have it on and then I'd spot him like during lunch or something, he had it on. I was like, oh, there's my white visor. Uh, and so he, that's why people call him Timo because he dressed exactly like me. I don't really have a specific funny story about him though. Like he was always doing something crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. He had a huge impact on my life. He, um, I don't. Not many people know this, but I was a very. I didn't have like any friends. On I like I had friends. Everyone has like a couple friends, but I don't have any friends that I like want to hang out with. And that I mean, I had my school guys. That's it. But like he was, him and my brother were like the only people I'd actually hang out with. Like he'd always be over at my house, all the time, and we'd just be chilling. Having sometimes I'd have like kickbacks on the weekend. Him, me, him and me were the ones who set them up. Like we set the kickbacks up, and so yeah, he had a huge impact on my life because he was one of my, he was like my best friend. I mean, he had a lot of best friends. Everyone loved him, but like he was my best friend, honestly. Uh, yeah, his, his death still hits me pretty hard sometimes. Sometimes I go up to his uh, his gravestone or his tombstone, and I just like talk to him. Sometimes I sit there. Uh, just talk to him for like an hour. Um, still sometimes don't want to believe it's real, but you got to deal with it sometimes and just try to move on. It's hard to move on though. But yeah. Rest in peace, Trayvon Max. 1999, 2016.